Hi everyone. It's been a while since I made a video. I've been really busy with the tax season, but I'll tell you what, it's great to be back. So tonight we're going to talk about how to get out of debt. So if you're watching this video and you're in debt, let me go over some ideas that might help you uh, turn things around. The first thing is if you're not in debt, the best thing to do is not to get into debt in the first place because it's it is very stressful and you worry about bills and you don't sleep at night and it's not a pleasant experience at all. Now if you are in debt, let's go over some of the ways in order to get yourself out. The first thing you need to do is you need to assess the damage. You need to find out where you stand. Where are you right now? So what you want to do is you want to make a list of all your debts, all your credit card debts, all your loans, your car loans, your student loans, your mortgage, any other personal loans that you have. And you've really got to be on top of this. You, you've got to know who you owe money to. You've got to know how much you owe. You've got to know what the interest rate is. And you've also got to know what resources you have. If you have any uh, credit lines or, or credit cards that are free that you might be able to refinance the debt at because you may be paying high interest rates and one of the ways of getting out of debt is to refinance the stuff at lower interest rates. So you need to know where you are. Then once you do know where you are, the next step which you need to do is you need to prepare a monthly budget. You need to list your income and you also need to list your expenses and there's going to be several kinds of expenses. You're going to have recurring monthly expenses such as your mortgage or your rent and you may have expenses that come up from time to time but are not recurring. So you've got to make a thorough list of everything that you have. So your mortgage or your rent, your utilities, your electric, water and gas, your phone, your credit card payments, uh, your student loan payments, any other type of payments that you have, gasoline for the car, car payments, car insurance, you've got to have a complete list and what you might want to do is go through your checkbook or go through your register to see what you've been paying in the past and make a list of what you think it costs per month because we got to know how much your monthly expenses are and then we look at how, how much is coming in I guess versus how much is going out. Hopefully there's a surplus. It's not always that way unfortunately, but hopefully there is. If there's a surplus, in other words, if you have more money coming in than what's going out, then we can use the extra money to start paying down the debt. Now the question is what happens if your expenses are higher than your income? Well the first thing you need to do is you need to get it under control because if your expenses are higher than your income, then you're going to continue to get further and further into debt. What happens is you're going to have to borrow money just to pay your expenses. So we have to figure out how to get your finances under control. Well, if your expenses are higher than your income, you've only got really two choices. You've either got to cut your expenses or you've got to increase your income. Usually in a situation like this, it's pretty hard to cut expenses because by that point, everything's pretty much gotten out of control. You're, you're pretty much just paying for necessities at that point. And I mean, I've had people come in and tell me, oh, John, I'm in debt and I don't understand it. I'm not living fancy or anything. How come I can't pay my bills? Well, at one point in time, something may have happened. Uh, either one, the person lived beyond their means, they bought things they couldn't afford, or two, they, they, may have, they may have had gotten sick and had some medical bills. That's something that's uncontrollable, but they may have a lot of medical bills that they just can't pay. Or maybe they were out of work for a while and the bills just got out of hand. Whatever the reason is, uh, the point I'm trying to make is once the expenses explode and they're out of control, at that point you're really not living high off the hog anymore. You're just trying to make ends meet. So at that point, it, kind of hard to cut expenses. Usually the best uh, solution in that situation is to get a second job or to start a side business to get a second income coming in. Because the first step is, is that you want to make sure you have enough income coming in so you can pay all your bills and you're not getting any further into debt. 
So that's the first step. Once you get that under control, then the next step is to figure out how you can increase your income to the point where you can start paying down the debt. Now there are some ways to uh, reduce your debt. So the next step is, all right, so so far we've assessed where you were and we've set a monthly budget. The next step is to set a plan to get out of debt. Now there's a number of courses of action that are open to you. So the first one I mentioned was to get a second job or a second income. And in my opinion, that's usually the best way because if you get a second income and you manage to get the, pay, the debt paid off, what'll happen is you'll have to really work your ass off basically to, you know, you'll be working two jobs or working 80, 90 hours a week. I mean, you're going to be going crazy trying to get this extra money coming in. But once you get this debt paid off, you're going to say to yourself, gee, what a pain in the ass this was. I don't ever want to be in this situation again. And if you end up paying your bills off like that, you're, you're unlikely to ever get back into debt again. Now, unfortunately, not all of us are able to do that. So let me go over some of the op options that are available besides getting a second income. Now, I have to tell you, this is a tough situation when somebody's in debt. No matter what option I give you, there's going to be something that you're not going to like about it or something that's distasteful about it. So one of them is to get a second job. And of course, you know, one of the things you might not like about that is, hey, I'm tired. I'm already working a lot of my main job. or I, I, I have kids to raise or I, I've got other things to do. I, I don't have time for this. So that may be one of the things that's wrong with that option. Another option could be to negotiate with your creditors. If you owe a lot of money on credit cards, you can try calling up the credit card companies and offering them a settlement. Uh, let's say you owe a uh, Citigroup $10,000, for example. You might be able to call them up and offer them $6,000, and they may take a settlement. Now, the only problem is where do you get the $6,000? If you're in debt, you may not have the money, but let's assume that you can get it from a family member or that you can come up with the money. Well, now you get rid of $10,000, for $6,000, you just wiped off $4,000. Now, there is a possibility that the $4,000 that's wiped off might be taxable. It's called cancellation of debt. But I'd much rather pay the tax on $4,000 than have to pay the $4,000. And in most cases, if you're in really bad debt, you might not have to pay tax on the cancellation of debt. If you're insolvent or if you end up in a bankruptcy, then the debt's not taxable anyway. And speaking of bankruptcy, that's another option. You could file for bankruptcy and in some cases discharge all the debt. Now, it's often a distasteful thing to do. Uh, you know, it doesn't leave a good feeling to have to do that. And normally, I don't recommend it unless you either owe a huge amount of money or unless you're... Uh, Let's say you're older in age and you're at the point uh, where it's like, hey, I'm getting ready to retire. I, I'm too old for this. I can't deal with this anymore. I, I'm ready to collect Social Security. I've got to get rid of my debt. Well, in that case, no matter how much it is, even if it's only ten or fifteen or $20,000, a bankruptcy may be the best answer because if there's no way else to pay the debt off, you don't want to be paying off the debt for the rest of your life. But if you're younger... I probably don't recommend filing for bankruptcy unless your debts are in excess of fifty thousand uh, dollars. There's, you know, other ways to get out of debt. So one of them, like I said, is to get the second job. Another is to negotiate with the creditors. Now, some people don't like negotiating with creditors because one of the problems is it is going to hurt your credit rating. If they wipe the debt off, they'll usually close your account and it'll go on your credit report that the debt was written off. However, I wouldn't worry so much about your credit. If you're really badly in debt, your credit score is probably going to be shot anyway. And secondly, the last thing you need to be doing is borrowing more money. So don't worry about your credit. Focus on getting out of debt and on increasing your income. Your credit could always be fixed later on. If you get your, your debt problem set, uh, solved and then later on you go on to make a nice income, You'll be surprised, you know, you just, from that point on, if you pay your bills on time, your credit score will eventually go back up. So that can be fixed. Uh, now another method you can do, another option is to cut down on expenses. Now that's a tough thing to do. Like I said, if you're already tapped out, it may be pretty difficult, but 
take a look at your monthly budget. See if there's some expenses that you really don't have to have that you can cut. So these are some of the ways to get out of debt. So once again, it's a, you could get a second income. You could try to negotiate with your creditors. You could file for bankruptcy, or you could try to cut down on your expenses. And there is one other thing. You can try to consolidate your debt. I'm not a big fan on that. I mean, I have people that come to me and say, oh, John, I'd like to get an equity line on my house so I can pay off all my credit cards and pay off my car loan and just have one bill to pay. And I'll be a low interest rate, interest rate and it'll be tax deductible. And all that stuff is true. But what I don't like about that is the fact that now you're refinancing your home and for some reason when people take when people take second loans on their home they never seem to get paid off they stick around for years and years and it's better just to try to pay off the debt you have in the form it's in if you have credit cards it's better to just focus on paying off the credit cards instead of instead of trying to refinance them into a mortgage granted the monthly payment might be less and granted, it might be a lower interest rate, and you also might be able to write it off on your taxes, but that doesn't solve the problem of getting out of debt. That only puts out the fire. It, it takes away your credit cards, but then what could also happen is you're liable to charge the credit cards back up. If you're going to refinance your house or get an equity line on your house to pay off your credit cards, before you do that, you need to assess what caused you to get into trouble in the first place. If it was a one-shot deal, you lived beyond your means, you, did, you made some mistakes, then you might refinance, pay off the second house, the loan on your house as soon as you can, and, and be done with it. But if what caused you to get into debt was the fact that you've had cash flow problems and you've been relying on the credit cards because you don't make enough money to live, then refinancing your credit cards is not going to solve the problem. All it's going to do is put out the fire temporarily, and you'll charge the cards back up, and then you'll have an equity line on your house and credit card debt. So it's really not a good idea. The best thing to do, in my opinion, is to try to get the credit cards paid off by getting a second income, if that's possible. But in any case, these are some of the ways to get out of debt. And you really have to be gung-ho. You've got to change the way that you think about uh, bills and finances. You, you can't hate working with money. You've got to learn to like it. You've got to know what's going on. You can't have credit card debt and not know who you owe money to or how much you owe or what the interest rates are. You've got to list it. You've got to put it on the computer on a spreadsheet or write it down on a piece of paper, but you've got to know what's going on and you've got to take control of your finances. That is the way that you get out of debt. Well, thank you very much. Uh, I hope this video was helpful and I look forward to speaking with you in my next video.